Prager U put out a video entitled Leftism Makes Mean People. And he seems to forget that rightism makes mean people as well. Both sides, when taken to their extreme, can make some mean people. I wanted to point out some of the most glaring problems with his video. Uh, the left, as opposed to liberals, there are wonderful liberals in this world that I differ with on many things, but the left creates mean people. I, I am certain of this. How could it not? If you believe that everyone you differ with is, is racist, misogynist, hater, xenophobe, neo-Nazi, then, then of course you'll hate. As opposed to rightists who think that anyone on the left are degenerates, apostates, infidels, evil, immoral. I have only one question in the final analysis about any ideology. Does it make people kinder, finer, more decent, more just human beings or not? We can see throughout history that strongly held religious beliefs can make people those things, but it can also make people very horrible. It can create very judgmental people. It can create people who demand that their religion be given special rights. It can give some people the idea that some people should have fewer rights or even be put in prison because they're not considered moral people according to books like Leviticus. That's all that matters. Not your rhetoric. Are you a finer, kinder, more just, more decent person because of your ideology, whether it's religious or secular? Look, before anyone gets on my case, there are obviously some ideologies on the left that make people really mean. Some of these people seem to be wanting to get revenge on the right. They want to do to the right what the right used to do to people on the left. It's not right. It's, that's not the right course of action. Revenge is not the right course of action. What do I do to make a better world? I said, there has been an American and Judeo-Christian answer through all of our history. The answer is, you get married and you make good kids. That's how you make a better world. That's how 99% of humanity can make a better world. All right? You don't, most people are not going to find a cure for cancer. Most people are not going to solve the great riddles of society. You want a better world? Make good people. That's what I stand for. That's the essence of everything I believe. What about the people who don't or can't have kids for whatever reason? Maybe they're gay. Maybe they're infertile. Maybe they haven't met someone. And people like you are against gay people getting married. So you're also against them raising kids, adopting kids. No, no, you think the only people that should be able to adopt kids are straight married couples. And then there's also the people who have been damaged, who don't want to raise kids because they, they're worried they're going to spread the kind of damage that was done to them to their kids. They don't want to do that. What of those people? Well, you don't have any advice for them. You essentially are arguing that people who don't do that are making the world a worse place. Or at least aren't adding anything positive to it. Make good people. Because we don't start out good. Another, another moronic secular left belief that people are basically good. You mean like the moronic right-wing belief that businesses will do the right thing without regulations? That's why they don't bother making good people. Why make good people? We're already good. Human nature. It's amazing how many racists and sexists and xenophobes and misogynists there are, given that human nature is good, but they don't think things through, so they don't, they don't deal with that puzzle. Are there leftists who think that way? Yeah. But they are not in the majority. Having said that, I would put it in the majority of those on the right who think that the market will magically take care of our problems. That we don't need regulations on businesses, because businesses will do the right thing. Oh, the market will take care of it. 
To me, that's just fucking idiotic. Uh, there is, is there hope for the Democratic Party to move away from the far left ideologies? There is no hope. I disagree. If they spectacularly fail enough, they may actually learn something from those failures. And then they can move away from the far left. Until then, no, probably not. You're probably right. The whole center is taken up by, uh, uh, contrary to what you will hear, it is taken up by conservatives. Conservatives dominate the center. So they have to move left to oppose uh, conservatives. They have to go, or, or Republicans, they have to go very, very far left. And they already have everything they want. They already got a gigantic government. That's the biggest desire of the left. It's already enormous. But it's never enormous enough. Whenever the left makes a demand, please know it never will end with that demand. Who are you trying to kid? The right does the same thing. The right, if you give in to their demands, will soon have religious laws. We'll allow for child labor again. We'll allow for a whole bunch of shit that's awful. No. No, the right, the right never ends in their demands either. All liberal demands have already been met. No, they haven't. Where do you get that idea? So the only thing left is leftism. There's nothing left. Universal health care, inexpensive colleges anti-discrimination policies for sexual orientation. I mean, I'll take the social issue of same-sex marriage. Nobody would have predicted the rapidity with which the country redefined marriage for the first time in history to be between members of the same sex. Barack Obama spoke out against it. And if the right had their way, they would make that illegal again. If the right had their way, they would bring us back to before the Civil Rights Act of 1964. That's how recent the opposition was. So, well, you know, as a Christian, I can't, I can't, I can't support same-sex marriage. We should give rights. Within a day of getting same-sex marriage, the next thing was, oh, well, the transgender are, should be allowed to uh, compete against women, transgender women. Well, calling it the next day is kind of an exaggeration, but you're right. You're right. People have tried to ramp that sort of thing up. I... As much as people are going to hate me saying this, some people anyway, yeah, I don't think that transgender women should be able to compete with biological women in sports. I don't. I'm against that. Male bodies should be able to run in races and lift weights against female weightlifters and female track, uh, track athletes. It, it, it doesn't stop. Leftism is constantly moving the goalpost. There is no left goalpost. The left goalpost is chaos. The right's goalpost is theocracy. <laughs>